The new multisim schematic capture net system unifies net naming through capture, simulation, and layout, reducing the likelihood of errors propagating through different design stages. The new net system comes with some intuitive new features like on-page connectors and global connectors. Let's select on-page connector. This will allow us to make virtual connections on our page without having to visually connect them. Place the on-page connector on the DC power supply and name it V underscore POS. Next, let's place another on-page connector to complete the connection. We'll place this one on our op-amp positive rail. In the naming dialog, we can just select V underscore POS to make the connection. Next, let's place a global connector. A global connector exists throughout a design, through hierarchy such as multiple pages, as well as sub-circuits. An on-page connector is local to the page on which it is placed. Place a global connector at the negative DC supply. Select another global connector and place it on our op-amps negative rail. This time as you connect, you'll notice the V underscore NEG connector name. By selecting the name, we've made our connection. To illustrate the difference between on-page and global connectors, we'll take a look at our design hierarchy. Open up the hierarchical block called module. You'll notice that a negative rail remains unconnected. Select an on-page connector. You'll notice at this time in the naming dialog, a connection to V underscore POS is not available. However, you can make the connection to V underscore NEG. This is because V underscore NEG is a global connector and exists throughout the hierarchy of our design. We select it and the connection is once more made. Finally, the new NET system flatterns our design. This means that NET names are unique throughout the entire design, whether it's in a subcircuit, schematic, or hierarchical block. This is yet another example of how NI Multisim makes design easier.